Hey, this is Matt from the Squad. Today is Monday, May 10, 2021. On Friday, we had the non-farm payrolls report come out. It was a huge miss, but the market still took off to the upside after the report. We closed at 52-week highs. We closed at all-time highs in some of the markets here. So the markets were strong after that non-farm payrolls report that missed uh, sizably. So what we're going to be looking at this morning is what has happened historically following a non-farm payrolls report that closed at a 52-week high. So let me go ahead and set that up here in Discover using all four instruments. The setup's based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The exit will be set to the end of the day, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we're trading pretty flat um, across the board here this morning. So I'm not going to use an opening filter for this study. Uh, once we get closer to the open, if you want to come in and add an opening filter to this, you can. But since we're fairly flat, I'm going to leave that out. And also, I want to keep as many samples as possible since this is looking at a 52-week high close as well as the day after non-farm payrolls. So next, I'm going to go into the price patterns library. and I'm going to grab the part that says we closed at a 52-week high on Friday. So I've got, I've got that here from the active today, day after 52 week high close. It comes from the new highs category. You can scroll down here and see it. Uh, the equal sign next to it means that it has been added to the test. Next, I'm going to go into the market events library. I'm going to say it's the day after the non-farm payrolls report that is available in the day after events. And it is here on the active today as well. So I just clicked on it to add it. And now I can click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when the prior session was the non-farm payrolls report and it closed at a 52-week high. So historically, we've got 39 samples for the S&P, 28 for the NASDAQ, 27 for the Dow, and 28 for the Russell, dating back to 2003. If we look at the win rates on these, you can see the S&P is the weakest of the four, but it's still favored at 59%. NASDAQ's coming in at 64% of these have closed above the opening print for the session. The Dow is the strongest of the group at 70%, and the Russell fairly close at 68%. So all four of them have favored more upside the following session, historically speaking. If we look at the average win, the average loss, the average win is larger than the average loss uh, here in the S&P. It is also larger in the NASDAQ. Very similar in size for the Dow and the Russell. Not a big difference there between those two. But historically speaking, the day after the non-farm payrolls report that closed at a 52-week high has favored the long side more often than not. So hopefully you found this helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.